together a range of tutorials that will take you through how to produce an architectural model. Um, we're going to take this step by step, but you will, by the end of it, be able to build an architectural model and you'll be able to build that to scale. If you can see here, you've, we've placed this on a map. Um, you're also going to be able to create a range of images from one model. So, first thing you're going to have to do is download Google SketchUp, or sorry, open Google SketchUp. You've got two choices here. You can download Google SketchUp, um, but what I'd rather you did is use the online version, which is at app.sketchup.com. Or if you're signed in in your school account, if you click the little waffle, it'll come up with a SketchUp option here. And the great thing here is it's going to save all your SketchUp models to Google Classroom straight away. Okay, so the SketchUp online version, it's cloud-based, so it's going to store your information on the cloud, so it doesn't matter whether you're at home or in school, you can use the same model. Now, a lot of people don't realise that SketchUp also it allows us to draw to scale. We don't often do that. We can calculate size of rooms, so we can do um, floor area analysis. We can also look at sunlight and shadows from any particular time of day at a specific point. We can put other buildings on there and see if it casts a shadow over our building and we can create some really cool animations as well. So very simply in the first tutorial you're going to learn how to open the SketchUp app. We've just gone through that. How to create some just very basic shapes. A lot of you will know this anyway. How you can extrude a shape. How you can change the point of view so you can work from different angles. And importantly, how you can save your work. So let's go into SketchUp. Now, here's the model that I was showing you earlier. And just to make the point, there we are. That's a map I've downloaded. Um, we can orientate that to north. You can see the shadows on there, some trees on there. So this is one of the things we're going to do. OK, so you can see I've got that. It says it's saved, so don't need to worry about that. Yours, when you open it for the first time, will just come up with um, a blank option. Like I said, when you log in, just click the Google login option. But I'm going to open a new project here, making sure this one is saved. OK, now when you open it, you normally have a person here. Um, now, at the moment, that gives us a sense of perspective. The first thing I'm going to do is just get rid of this person. OK, so we have a toolbar down the side over here and a toolbar over here. And we have some measurements down here. So underneath each one of these, you'll find a range of other tools. Don't worry too much about those at the moment. We're going to take this in chunks. So the first thing I want you to do is just to select this rectangle tool here. So it's that one there. You don't have to select it because it is just that one. OK, so I'm just going to draw a rectangle. So I click to start and then click to finish. I'm now going to go to the extrude tool, which is, oh, no, it's not there. So extrude, which is under these ones here, it's this one here. And I can take this and I can move this up and I can move it out and I can do this forever and a day. Okay, most of you will have done this before. And then the next thing I'm going to do is if I draw a line on here and I split this shape, I can then control certain parts of it. So now I can just pull that bit out, I can pull that out there and so on. And I can continue drawing lines. I don't have to draw lines on a straight line. I can do things like this and I can pull that out. So that's the basis of how we're going to create shapes. But of course, I've only worked on one side here. I might want to work on different parts. I might want to work in detail. So I can zoom in and out using the mouse. Um, I have my orbit tool here. So if I want to get round to the other side, I can look at the other side. Ooh, it's clicked off the screen there and zoom in and out over here. Now, at some point, this is probably going to happen to you. You're going to go, where on earth has my model gone? It's vanished. What's actually happened there is we just zoomed so far out we can't see it. So at this point, what's really handy is to come to this toolbar over here and click on this little clapperboard here which takes me into the views. Now, if I click on this view here, it will recenter the screen for me. Then if I click over here and I zoom to the extents, that zoom me back into my model. So rather than spending forever trying to zoom in and out, um, just get that. Now, we want to save our work. We want to come back to this. At the moment, you're just playing around, but by all means, save your work. So click in here, I'm going to give it a title. Now, it's going to ask me where I want to save this. I already have quite a few models set up. So I'm just going to save it into house models. I'm going to give it a name down here. I'm just going to call this test because I'll probably want to delete later. 
save it here. And importantly, we're looking up here, we're seeing it's saving right now. Hopefully in a moment, there we go, it's saved. So we know that's safe and we can come back to it. Whatever you do, if you accidentally delete something, don't save it, undo the delete. Once you save and you exit this screen, that is your final save. Okay, good luck with that guys, get it open. Remember, we're gonna work online, we're not using the download version.